This week on Deer and Deer Hunting TV, we cover the science of deer vision. How does a whitetail see in the woods at night and during the day? Then Dan Schmidt discusses our fascination with deer anatomy. All this and more right now. We were set up in southern Iowa, we were hunting over, mainly hunting over a buck decoy most of the time and all the setups we were in. We were doing a lot of grunting, calling, and rattling. We had a buck come out that was hot on a doe. We, we tried grunting, we tried rattling, we tried doing everything to that go. buck. We got a few glances from the buck, but he was so, so in tune to that doe, we tried all we could, but he ended up running off with that doe. It was a debatable shooter buck, but it's kind of a good thing that that buck didn't come by us. We hadn't gone a setup without seeing bucks, or bucks chasing does. So we knew something was about to happen, and, and sure enough, buck chasing doe, buck chasing doe. Out of the blue, here comes a doe running straight across the field and right behind it is a, is a buck. It's probably about a two and a half year old buck. All of a sudden out of the corner of my eye to the right, I look and here comes, here comes a big buck. He's, he's coming straight towards our decoy. He's, he's posturing up. I put the pin, settled the pin on him and, and let the arrow fly. I felt confident in the shot. It was a fairly close shot, 25-yard shot that I, I practiced, you know, daily, and I felt confident with the shot. Um, when it released, I could see where the arrow hit. I, I felt that it hit just a hair back, but I was pretty confident in the shot. The deer ran off probably 15, 20 yards and stopped out there, and you could tell he was hit. He started hunching up, but he stood there for several minutes, I guess. And I didn't have another shot. He was probably out about 50 yards. Couldn't get another shot. And he stood there for a few more minutes and then slowly walked off. I couldn't believe the deer didn't go down. Um, at that point, I kind of got worried. I'm like, oh no, what did I do? I was questioning the shot whether, whether it was a good hit or not because the way he walked off, we couldn't believe he, he didn't go down. So we got down out of the stand, we reviewed the footage a little bit, and, and we decided it was probably best that we let it go overnight. 